Hey, it's that time of year here again. Howdy ho, Arkansas Pilgrim here again. Yeah, and I look kind of sweaty and disgusting, but hey, that's how I'm going to look for anything I'm doing in the shop here for uh, just the next couple months. Anyway, this is not exactly a redneck repair. It's actually kind of going above and beyond, uh, but uh, that's because it has to do with hoses. I'm sick and tired of garden hoses that just don't hold up. They, uh, well... I admit I bought some of the cheap ones and the cheap ones just don't hold up anyway but even some nicer ones uh, have some problems because most of my uh, backyard faucets or hydrants as they're called the non-freeze ones uh, they're not on a pressure regulator they've got full pressure coming in from the water line which is pretty high so what I've done here is uh, I'm kind of making it's well it's a homemade garden hose but I don't think it really falls under the redneck category. What you see here, this is some hose I bought. Uh, I bought it off Craigslist. It was, you know, some guy had a bunch of materials. Uh, actually, Craigslist under materials might be a good place to look for something like this. It's uh, what's well, actually labeled as suction hose as opposed to high pressure hose, but it's thick. It's got a braid in it. The, I mean, the suction, you know, the braid keeps it from collapsing. So, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, I think it's going to work. It's pretty good. Um, well, I think it's good. Um, but, uh, well, I guess we'll see. It's 5 8 ID hose. And, uh, which is what most garden hoses that you see are 5 8 They are 3 quarters also. Most of the ones they sell in the stores are 5 8 so I got this and I think I paid, what was it, 30 cents a foot for it. So I got a uh, 50 foot length for $15. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and actually I got two 50 foot lengths, a little bit longer than 50 feet. I paid 30 bucks. You know, a $15 hose is, you know, that, those, that's, those, I don't even know if you can buy them that cheap anymore, even the crummy ones. But on top of that, I bought some hose ends because I'm going to need them. And let me see. Let's grab the one that's still. I got this from Tractor Supply Company. Now, Tractor Supply is not one of my favorite places because they're a little on the pricey side, but they're also real handy. There's another like farm and home type store I go to, but it's about 35 miles away and I only go there when I'm kind of on another trip of some kind. Anyway, this. I think these were like five bucks a piece, four ninety nine. I think this is four ninety nine, and this is the male end, and I think the female end was four ninety nine too. Uh, anyway, so that's so we ended up with a fifty foot hose for twenty five dollars. Well, that's about what some of these cheaper hoses cost anyway. So I think this is going to work. Um, and I'll tell you as a tip. This hose in, if you've already got a regular hose that's messed up, if you're gonna if you're gonna go to the trouble to repair the hose, put a new end on it, get these type of repairs. Because the other ones just do not hold up. Uh, especially the ones that are the stamped, you know, the sheet metal ones. They're uh, actually let me find an example of that on a hose that I have. Okay, this is what the sheet metal ones look like that I'm talking about. This one is actually a little on the heavy duty side, but usually this right here, you can tell when it's the sheet metal that's just been formed because it'll have like a lip here that's bent over. But the, the fact that it's got this divider right here and it's two pieces, even you know when you go to tighten stuff onto them, they end up slipping right there and then leaking through here. So you don't want to get any of the repair types that look like that. You also don't want to get any of the ones that have the plastic um, clamps that hold that clamp the ho the the new piece that you slip it into the hose and clamp it. You don't want the ones that are plastic. You also actually you don't want and some of the hose ends are plastic too. You, you don't you don't want those. They just don't. Uh, uh, they're they're not any good. They don't seal well. And a lot of those, they're actually sized 
well, they're actually, a lot of those are actually sized for three quarter and they're really hard to jam into a five eighths um, hose. So anyway, just get the solid brass ones if you're gonna bother to repair anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and, oops. I'll loosen this. Now you gotta tighten this down and yeah, you'll reach a point where you'll actually strip it, which uh, I guess that's one of those things you just gotta do by feel. You gotta get it nice and tight, at least where you get like a little bit of squish in here. And there we go. Now the only trick with this is this hose is black, which means if you leave it out in the sun, uh, it's, uh, and actually I'm not sure how the rubber would handle being left in the sun, but it's best to, it'd be best to keep it out of the sun anyway, because uh, the sun usually damages all kinds of garden hoses, but it's also going to make the water hot in it, and so you got to run 50 waste, you know, how much water is in 50 feet of hose, but then it's going to take a while for other water flowing through it to cool off the black rubber hose, so best, I'm going to have to keep this in the shade, and uh, that way I'm not going to be when I use it, I, I hate to, water actually here at, at where we live is expensive. Um, so I don't want to waste any. Anyway, there we go. That's, uh, if you want to make your own decent hose, you know, check out Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or, uh, and look for some kind of, you know, in some kind of industrial hose, you know, that's on sale. Uh, it's not a sure thing. And, and, and you know, sorry, I hate it. You know, when I go on uh, some video uh, video or a website that says, hey, here's how to make your own such and such really cheap. And then, you know, the basis for it is something that you probably don't have any way to get your hands on, which might be the case. This I just stumbled across this. So, But if you happen to see it, you can make yourself a decent garden hose that may just last forever or long enough anyway. So do what you can with what you have where you are. God bless y'all. See you next time.